welcome to Flipside Finish Way. We are excited about today's video because we are we're doing an unboxing video. Probably not going to be our normal thing, but hey, it's Christmas time, so we got some toys. Jack went and picked out a toy from Walmart that we want to show you today. Jack, show them your toy. We got the Hot Wheels Four Lane Raceway. This looks pretty cool. Um, it has uh, a Racing little carrier guys. here and four different tracks. Uh, we're going to open it up and see the parts. Yeah, see what this thing has going on. But it was at Walmart. And how much did this thing cost? $22. $22. Here in, in Puerto Rico, it might be different there. But pretty excited to open this up and see what we got. And of course, we'll be doing a race with it. And so. My dad needed to pay off the last five. Yes, Jack Jack paid for most of it, and then I helped him out a little bit. All right, let's open this thing up. Oh, let me see where it opens here, buddy. Maybe there. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It has a place to put your driver name, so we're gonna have to put Jack's gonna have to write his name here on the back so that you can distinguish which one is yours. I like that. What do you mean? Off. In case your buddy comes and he has one also, you can know which one is yours. Uh, that's that's good. Alright, let's see. How does this thing open? Oh, oh, look at that. Stores to store the cars. goes right in there. So you can actually have it up as a display also or push it down. How did you push it up and down, Jack? Oh, Jack's going to have to show me how to do it. Ooh. All right, that's it. And out pops the look. track. Nice, very nice. Now that is way too long. So how do we make this taller or change the angle? No. There are instructions. I'm sure Jack is going to look up for us. Um, nope, this is as tall as it is. Mm. Well, so this little piece at the bottom moves. Repeat step four till releasing all the store cars in the different levels. Pull the cabinet handle B to the top and release a level of stored cars. Note, check that the... Check that the multi-launcher is, sl is slant when, when placing the support foot in its launch position. Okay, so this is a support foot in its launch position. Like that, it will lean forward slightly and play down. Now, I'm not sure if these tracks are actually going to go into the other tracks, Jack. We're going to have to figure that out. No, they will. Okay. Okay. So there's actually not a launch mechanism for this. It is just gravity down the track. Am I correct? But how do you raise? The launching position. Uh, how do you raise? Kind of put something in the launching position. So I think this is the launching position. I'm just going to set it on the couch for a second here. How do you make it go? I don't know, Jack. I I do not. I do not do understand want? this yet. Because it's got to have a launch mechanism. Oh my goodness gracious! This is how it's supposed to go, Jack. Can you please go find me four cars? We load up the cars. And then we'll have a two. Okay, so apparently you load up the cars just like that. Put it in the position, in the go position, what they call the slant position, and then you lift this up to release. Whoa! That actually does work! Oh, well, it worked on three of them. And there's the last one. What happened to the last one? It, he didn't come out for some reason. Okay, try it again. Okay. It's fast. I, I need to. We're gonna have to see if we can connect other track to this. Yeah, we can. Are you sure about that? Yep, pretty. I'll go get some track connectors. All right. 
So there it is, the Hot Wheels Racing Battle Case. And it's pretty nice. Holds 20 cars, uh, launches them four at a time, and it connects really well to uh, to the standard orange track with the regular clip. So we're excited to see what this is going to do. Stay tuned. We already got the cars uh, picked, so uh, we're going to have a video to show them to you so you can pick your favorite car, and then we will be doing a race video too. All right. Sign up. Flip side finish. Um.